Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStampers.com. I want to run you through making this cute little note card here featuring Stampin' Up's Glamper Greetings from the Holiday Catalog. Um, first, let's look at what we need here to make the card. I've got a card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then if you look, I scored the card base starting at a quarter of an inch and then every half an inch after that just to give it some texture and some character. So there's your card base. A piece of Whisper White cardstock. The Whisper White cardstock is three and a half by four and three quarters. I have a piece of the Moroccan designer series paper. This is one inch by four and three quarters. I have a piece of Whisper White that is half an inch by four inches piece of Melon Mambo that's half an inch by four inches. A piece of pumpkin pie. This pumpkin pie piece is one eighth of an inch wide and it's got to be at least four inches long. I'm just using a scrap. And I also have a piece of Festive Birthday designer series paper. That is half an inch by four and three quarters. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this Whisper White panel and I'm going to adhere the designer series paper. Kind of make a ground for our camper. A little snail adhesive on the back of these strips. And I want them to be about an eighth of an inch off the bottom so that there's a little border of white at the bottom of the card. So we'll put the Moroccan series paper about a half an inch up. And then we'll add the festive birthday piece about an eighth of an inch from the bottom overlapping the Moroccan series paper. All right, we can now ink up our little camper. It's a polymer stamp set. We're gonna be using the Stampin' Up! Glamper Greetings stamp set. It's a huge stamp set, polymer. It makes it easy to add all kinds of accessories to this little camper. Inking up the camper with archival ink. We're gonna watercolor, so it's important to use an ink that is non-reactive and stamp our camper. Oh, how cute. All right, next up, a little pennant banner here. Then a little grass. So our camper's not floating in the air. Of course we need a flamingo in the yard. I love this set. There's all kinds of things that you can put in the yard. We're gonna put a flamingo in there. And then last up for our stamping here on this half inch piece of Whisper White. We're going to stamp our greeting. It says, hey there, happy camper. Giving yourself plenty of room to tie that melon mumbo knot. Okay. I'm going to watercolor this camper using a water brush and the Stampin' Up! ink pads. Okay, so we, here we have Emerald Envy, Tempting Turquoise, Melon Mambo, and Pumpkin Pie. Got a little water brush and I am going to paint. But before I paint, I want to show you one little modification I made. If you can see in my finished card, I went ahead and I extended the paneling across the bottom of the camper. And I did that just to add a little bit more color. So I'm gonna do that with a archival pen, something that's non-reactive. Okay. I'm gonna take the 
water brush and pick up some of the ink from the Tempting Turquoise ink pad. And in small circles, I'm gonna start filling in at the edge of the camper. And then moving from the outside to the inside in small circles. And as the water washes the ink from the brush, you're gonna get a natural soft shading. All right, and then from the other side, I'll pick up a little more ink and I'll work from the door into the ink that we put down previously. All right, so then soften the edges there. Over here, I'm gonna add a little more saturation in the corner, down by the door. All right. Same thing with the other side of the door. Pick up more of the Tempting Turquoise ink and working from the door out. We're gonna unload the brush. Almost there, pick up a little more ink. A little higher contrast, I'll add some more color on the edges. Pretty happy with that. Now we'll work on the door. The door is the Emerald Envy. Pick up some Emerald Envy. And working from the top down to the bottom. And you'll see as I go, the brush just unloads color and you get a natural shading without a lot of work. Let the water brush do the work for you. Okay, go back in this extreme edge, down across the bottom, add a little bit more contrast. Soften it up here at the top. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, pumpkin pie now, we're gonna do the window sills I like to go in from the outside edges when we're working in small areas like this. Unload the brush a little bit on my paper and then blend. You can always pick up more ink. It's really hard to take it out. Okay, little melon mambo. Do the bottom edge here. What's a glamper without pink trim, right? And then the little party flags here. We'll start with pink, the melon mambo. And then I'm gonna do orange, green, blue, pink. All right, then um, here where I've been working and the water has really um, lightened this ink, we've got a real soft saturation. We're gonna pick that up, squeeze a little water into our brush and just wash a little blue over the windows. Okay, now for the hubcap on the tire, we're gonna grab a little bit more of that pumpkin pie. Not even finished coloring it in all the way. We want it to have a nice strong highlight. Little Melon Mambo Flamingo. Emerald Envy for the grass. I'm going to take my block and a little gray marker here. Pick up the marker and we can do the tire and the hitch. Okay, 
There it is. I'll paint it up real cute, right? Okay. Next up, the sentiment. So we have our little pieces here. I'm going to trim the edges. Okay. Okay, I've got some Melon Mambo Baker's cord here. It's nice thick stuff. I'm gonna wrap those sentiment pieces and tie a pretty bow. And trim the tails. We'll put a little dimensional adhesive on the back of the tags and add these guys on. Now I'll flip that and trim off the excess. There it is. Little dimensional adhesive and add it onto the card front. We're almost there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna place it a little bit off center. It's higher on the top than on the bottom. We're just putting it along that first quarter inch score, centering it right to left. And there they are. Hey there, happy camper. All right, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, you can email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Be sure to buzz by my blog, Kitchen Table Stamper, for more Stampin' Up! ideas. Thanks for watching.